outskirts of the city of Birmingham. It's an area Alan knows only too well. Alan Smith, who is with me for commentary today. West Bromwich Albion in this game today against Leicester City. Here is the West Bromwich Albion. Number one, Ben Foster. Number two, Alan Romeo Nayon. Number six, Johnny Evans. Number three, Kieran Gibbs. Number ten, Matt Phillips. It's a great ground, the Hawthorns, for atmosphere. But the passionate supporters here are losing a bit of that passion because they've seen their team lose and lose and lose West Bromwich Albion on their own ground. Yeah, just two wins in 14 games, and these players, quite rightly, have had a bit of stick from the home fans. The team now for you for West Bromwich Albion. Ben Foster starts in goal. Chris Brunt starts with Matty Phillips out wide. In attack, Jay Rodriguez starts together with Salomon Rondon. Interceptor got it for them. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. James taking on the defenders. He's got his shot off now. Hit it hard, <laughs> but not very true. the interception made it look easy actually and Phillips Neil Riyad Mahrez well, was a chance for a better through ball there that will be the keepers it's out it'll be a throw very confident to get the game moving again. Neil. Gregor Strykovia. Played forward. A bit of menace in this attack. Shot on. The ball's loose. Goalkeeper made the save, but he couldn't hold it. He heads it out of play, and it will be a throw in. Jay Rodriguez. A simple piece of defending, really. It's with Mares. Now Barry. Barry. To Barry. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Danny Simpson. Throwing coming up. Taken quickly. Here's Gray. He can lay it off to the supporting player. Makes a challenge here. Chris Brunt. Jay Rodriguez. Neil. In behind the defenders. Rondo. Got to be. And that shot's blocked very quickly. Barry. This could be danger with this passing. Well, it's taken a touch there of the defender. It will be a corner. And that was the epitome of the agility of Kasper Schmeichel. Well, his reactions were just second to none. played in front that's the way to take the lead that's a stunning goal fine move excellent application in front of goal he's a really good player and he's taken the chance with some aplomb here and that was that team at their very best Alan 
Oh, the timing of the jump and the, the timing of the header, they were, they were all perfect to, to finish off that corner. Oh, look at the manager. He works hard on his team on the training ground and he's seen some reward for it down there now. So the first goal, it's 1-0. West Bromwich Albion goal, number 11, Chris Maguire. Bromwich. He's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. He's coming forward with some danger. Decent stop by Ben Foster, but not a difficult one. Gets his foot in there. It's Jamie Vardy. And Evans. Could be in trouble. Jay Rodriguez. And Morgan. Now James. It's looking good, this move. And in he goes with the tackle. And Morgan player right at him but he's kept the ball well strong fair challenge balls out for a throw though well this attack has got a bit of menace to it it's become a rather defensive policy here with a team that's camped really in its own half at the moment. And a try one now. Quick reaction time here from the goalkeeper. Safety first from the defender. Can't blame him for that. Mark Albright. It's Jamie Vardy. Good strong tackle. And Phillips. James. Hit in hard and low. Punched away by the keeper. Well, that's a goal with class written all over it. He looks wonderful when it comes off. Not quite so when he doesn't. Great goal. Ah, the keeper's pulled off a, a really good save, but that's when he needs the help of his defenders. Well, it's a goal worth replaying over and over again, isn't it? It is uh, level. Both sides have scored here now. Johnny Evans. Now he's got the ball. What's he going to do with it? Three minutes from the referee via the fourth official. That's the decision regarding added time. Chris Brunt. Krichovia. Could be a chance here. They've got the ball into a good area. Good strong tackle. And that's gone for a corner for West Brom. Well, the keeper might be a little annoyed he couldn't gather that in. But the goal scorer, well, he was alert, he was sharp, and he was uh, in position to tuck it away well. Corner's taken. Tried to keep it down, but couldn't quite manage it. Oh, I thought he was going to score there. I thought he should have scored. And that's the half time. Now the second period, the second half is underway. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. To Barry. Chris Brunt looking for teammates in the middle. 
cleared away, well away from goal. Gareth Barry. Good challenge. Now James. Well, if you look at the... And shoots! Plenty of power, but not too much direction. Coming up, another view of that sliding tackle, Alan. He commits himself and really just timed the challenge well. Gregor's Krikowiak. Now here's a chance. Done well under pressure here to hold the ball as the challenge came in. Shot off! That's a good block. Corner. Substitution for West Bromwich Albion. And the manager deciding to go for it and bring on a new player substitution for Leicester City coming off the pitch number seven Imari Gray coming onto the pitch and they get it away crisp defending there Barry Riyad Mahrez, neatly intercepted. Looking good, this move. Well, that's good defending. They've got the ball in the middle of the pitch here. Mark Albright. James. Very good distance to the clearance. There goes Krikowiak. Gibbs. Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. You can see the deflection there. Corner. And it's going to be a substitution now for this team. Swung in from the corner. Going for goal! Goalkeeper hangs on. James McLean. He's coming forward with some danger. Well read by the defender. Deflected out for a throw. Almost a 10 out of 10, uh, certainly a candidate for man of the match. He's not going to play the whole match, though, and to be substituted here now. Yeah, he was involved in most things that were good here for his team. Top class. Here's Adrian Silva. Wasteful pass, unforced error, really. It was good progress with this attack. And, they put, and they've scored now and the significance is that they're in front that is a great goal of its type perhaps don't see as many as we used to of it but the cross made the header so possible yeah it is still one of the, the best sights in football and I think supporters enjoy it spectacular header Oh, look at the manager. He works hard on his team on the training ground and he's seen some reward for it down there now. And we restart the game 2-1. Morgan. 
James McLean. Jake Livermore. Trying. Good vision. Saved his side, really, with that interception. The noise levels have gone up even more. And the scenario remains the same. The one goal lead. And we're into the last ten minutes. By the way, things are shaping up. It looks like the home team are going to see out this lead. But still a chance for things to change. Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. Well, here comes the support. Got the opposition backpedalling a little bit. for the free kick. Well, that's a yellow card. Yeah, I don't think there's any choice there from the ref. Substitution for Leicester City coming off the pitch. Number 22, Martin James. Coming onto the pitch. Number 8, Rachel Kenyatta. Well, we're in the last knockings of the game, but we're still on the edge of our seats here. It's that close. And they could pose some danger now. Now, Ikea Nacho. The shot's off! It's a kid, the goalkeeper, really. Play that in, but he played it wide. And he's got options on the bench, of course. To be replaced by number 28, Christian James McLean. The fourth official is in Three minutes from the referee by the fourth official. That's the decision regarding added time. Mark Albright. Now Ikea Nacho. Still going Leicester City. They certainly haven't packed it in. Came in with a challenge. Mares. And now the shot! There is the final whistle.